Hey, good day, everyone. It's nice to have you on uh, online study group. Uh, earlier, you were watching a video that was our recap of the uh, online study program that we uh, conducted last month. So uh, today is the first Wednesday of June, and uh, it was so nice to have you to hear. And uh, uh, we'd like to stay with you because you have a positive energies. So on the screen, it is still the recap, uh, the review of the program that we had last month. And you can see there was many positive feedback that we received from all over the world. And this is the guiding reading presentation of um, Master Zheng Yan's uh, footprints. And uh, everyone, uh, we, we work uh, very hard and uh, uh, the presenter they always uh, prepare a very good uh, presentation. So we can learn from the presentation about the Ciji, uh, Ciji story. So this is one of the presentation that we had uh, in June from uh, uh, Li Hui Miao. And then we have the many lectures we always invited from a different of a uh, city hospital. Like this is one, this is a, uh, the, one of the doctors from Taichung City Hospital. And we learned from his sharing about uh, 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 the, the efforts that he provide to the patient. Okay, and then you can see uh, we are also go out to like to Menno, China. Uh, to learn uh, Ziji volunteers, uh, how they care the care recipient and how do they provide the love to the care recipient. And then we also have the activity team. They always uh, lead us to do the stretch out, to do the uh, physical exercise every week. And then uh, we have uh, um, a team from a different community in Taiwan. So we really appreciate every speaker that we invite. Uh, from different city. They always give us their uh, a very good story and uh, share their experience and told us what they have learned from city uh, foundation. So we always uh, receive so many positive energies from each different uh, uh, speakers. And like uh, this program, we were talking about the city's love and the efforts that we provide to the inmates in jail, we uh, we like we we always brought the light, even if it's a glimmer. We brought the light to the to the dark corners, so those inmates will receive the care and love from city volunteers. 
so they won't feel alone. So if we love Master Zhenyan, we have to talk about the Cixi. And this is the speaker from uh, uh, my mom. My mom, she is uh, so diligently and she, come, uh, she, she transformed the people's life uh, into a better life in my mom. So we have to speak good words. We think about a good thing and we do the good thing and we walk on the good path. So, and then uh, this speaker who is Although she is 84 years old, but uh, she is still diligent, diligently, and she present, uh, give us a very good presentation on Master Zen, Dharma Master Zhenyin's footprint. And then uh, this is uh, our active team. Uh, they play uh, the Dao Ai TV drama uh, to inspire people and encourage people to be a vegetarian. And it's important that for everyone to dedicate themselves, even it's a tiny uh, effort, but by accumulation, you will have a very big strength. And uh, we also invite the, uh, the actor and the actress from Dao Ai TV drama. They show up on the online study group and to give us uh, their experience and to talk about what they have learned from the, the drama. And like the speaker, she is the actress, the main role in uh, the ITV drama, uh, talk about the uh, sister Chen Man's story. And this is another actor. Uh, he said that by uh, playing the role, uh, he also learned that uh, uh, Cixi's volunteers are great and uh, appreciate their devotion to the society. So this is uh, this is the this is the sixth or ten month uh, we play her story, and uh, she uh, really appreciate everyone's uh, dedication. And uh, she really enjoyed uh, to stay with online study group. Even she couldn't come, come to Kaohsiung, but uh, she still can receive the positive energies. energies. And then uh, this is uh, the speaker from Australia, uh, Chen Huiling. So the activity team, they uh, give us, uh, they lead us to do the physical exercise. And uh, we have, the many elder uh, volunteers from the daycare center at the Cixi Jing Ho. Every week they come, they come to an a, a online study group and to stay with us. So by doing those uh, exercises, they feel they, 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 uh, they were young and uh, they have more uh, energy. So everyone is energetic. And then you can see uh, this is uh, our doctor from uh, Hualien City Hospital. His uh, story is very touching and inspiring. He is talking about the uh, uh, kids' uh, commitment with uh, Master Zhen Yan. Uh, when he came to Cixi, when he came to Hualien City Hospital, he thought he might only stay six months, but it's been 20 years already, and uh, he uh, would like to stay uh, longer and uh, uh, for his rest of his life. And this is uh, Peng Qi Ming, who uh, give us a wonderful sharing about the climate change issue and also the climate crisis. And then uh, this is uh, the volunteers from uh, uh, Australia, this is the CEO, Song Yigang, and uh, Liao, and the sister Liao. And we also have uh, Yao Shiqing and uh, Jie Wenqing, who are actually the coordinator uh, from with uh, uh, China, China mainland of China and uh, Taiwan. They invited many participants from mainland China to stay with the uh, online study group. And then, uh, uh, so every week we have uh, many uh, challenges. 
but uh, we still stay calm and uh, well, hopefully we can uh, resolve the glitch problem quick as, as quickly as possible. And uh, so please stay with us. We are, our technical team uh, really work very hard. So it appears to us that it looks like we have the same problem as uh, two days ago when we have the uh, uh, gathering with uh, Hualien, Cixi, uh, Hualien when, uh, when we have the dialogue with uh, Master Zhenyan. We also have the same uh, glitch problem in Kaohsiung. But uh, later on, we solved the problem uh, very quickly. And uh, everyone uh, uh, has a... Uh, uh, we, we, okay, now it, it, look, it looks like we're back to normal. Okay, so this is a, this is a trailer of a uh, ITV program that you can watch every every day and night. It's, talk, uh, it's a doctor, Dr. Chao Wenlong's story. So many, uh, they has a very, very good rating uh, on the watching. Uh, uh, many, many people uh, like enjoy this, watching this movie. So this, uh, this, this program is telling us that uh, 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 like uh, the young uh, uh, doctor, he was a uh, he was a Cao Wenlong student, and uh, he followed the uh, Cao Wenlong's instruction and uh, dedicated himself to take care of the eldest patient in the hospital. So this is a problem that everyone could have the same problem, but uh, if we be more patient and um, uh, we provide more love, then we always can solve the problem. Dr. Cao Wenlong is a very nice person and very wise, and uh, he uh, share his experience with every one of us. So we always we re we did receive uh, positive energies from his sharing. Okay, uh, we appreciate uh, your your patience, and we I have to apologize. Uh, uh, the technical problem that we had earlier. So sorry for your patience to wait for fifteen minutes to uh, to have this online study group. So let me introduce. Uh, let me introduce the uh, translation team for today. Hi, I need to have my PowerPoint. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, so this is the first week of uh, the month, and then we have uh, English, can, uh, Cantonese, uh, Cambodia, Malay, and uh, Taiwanese interpretation. So this is the team member from Kaohsiung Interpretation Team. But uh, uh, actually we did receive the many challenges every week. So we still uh, thank you for their uh, uh, hard working to solve all the glitch problems. So thank you. Today is a Kaohsiung team will provide the professional service to us to do the interpretation. So thank you for the sisters and the brothers. And uh, we also will have a Cantonese interpretation. So appreciate uh, those uh, sisters. And uh, some was in Hong Kong and some was in Australia and one was uh, in Malaysia. And uh, uh, 
no matter where they are, they will uh, they will provide their uh, uh, interpretation uh, service on time. So we really appreciate their dedication and the contribution. And we also have the Cambodia and the Malay interpretation. Uh, thank you for those uh, sisters. So some of them not only just do the translation, but also they are doing the uh, written uh, translation. And this is uh, our Taiwanese uh, interpretation team. So, uh, uh, no, and uh, I would like to take a uh, invite you to take a uh, uh, take a look on the our written translation team. Thank you for the sisters and brothers. This is the German German written translation team. So we have to translate it into English first, and then they uh, translate it from English to German. And then now we go back. Now let's let's take a look on the feedback we received from last week. We have the feedback on the, uh, the speakers, and we also have uh, many uh, guests, many uh, participants all over the world, and even we have the message received from uh, YouTube. And uh, uh, and we have some new uh, participant, uh, Susan. She said that the wonderful work done by Sister Effie. She admired uh, uh, Guo Yimei's uh, sharing last week. And as usual, every week we will receive the picture drawing by the Elizabeth from Malaysia. She always gives us a, a very beautiful drawing, uh, the picture drawing from uh, each speaker. So now let's move on to the next section. We're going to call out. 期待此次请审能落实在美国。呃，in uh, planned it, and it will grow up to uh, many seeds in the world. Um, we are very grateful that uh, through the news report, we see that the effort in the United States in the city education mission. And in the, during the war, uh, teacher in the United States of the city school, the teachers, students, little children how to help um, what they need, they need water. Helping others, there's no limit and there's no borders uh, for the blessings to transcend over the nationality borders. And plant Let's send our blessings to Ukraine. I know this, uh, the color is yellow and blue. These colors are the colors of, of Ukraine. Do you, do you think that they would like it, your gift? Yes, I think so. They would like my gift. And I throw in coins to the to this fundraising box because I want to help them. Please help, please help. Uh, the fundraising is to help help the uh, Ukraine refugees. 
And let's give a big hand for the little children in CG school in the United States. And Master Chen Yan already mentioned about them in her teachings in the... Master Chen Yan said that um, little children, they are so are heartwarming because their their teachers and their parents know how to guide them to uh, extend their helping hand. Little children, they get education in the society. And in the society, they get the, not the uh, knowledge only, they also get the character education. And little by little, people would um, we would accumulate our heart, uh, unite our heart and accumulate the effort to, to extend our helping hands to the refugees. And every day, Master Zhen Yan asks us to uh, help out the disaster refugees. Uh, I love to be with you because you have positive energy. Let's welcome the Sister Di Chongxuan, she is connected with us from the United States on behalf of the uh, city education mission in the States. Uh, Master Zhen Yan told us that the true understanding is how to put into action is the true understanding. And teachers in our schools, they are very patient. They taught, they teach students how to be uh, well behaved and how to do good deeds and not only love themselves and they would extend their helping hand to, to help others in the world. And, and we, um, after the, after the pandemic, uh, there are many other, many other retreats has already hosted in the, in the Tiji campus. And there's, uh, we already uh, have collaboration, cooperation program with other universities, other schools in eight countries. And we have a, a camp on our campus. We have a um, recycling experience place. Uh, and also there's a, a, and we hold the children's hands to, uh, to teach them how to, um, how to do the recycle and how to manage the sustainability program, even they, when they are little children. Um, when little children, uh, because they uh, the because of the pandemic lockdown, there are ch children are suffering from anxiety and frustration. So we. Um, we have to pay uh, pay more attention and try to manage to um, help children to uh, on their psychological health uh, well beings, and we need to not to not to make the children to feel that they are isolated they need we need to open their mind and that children to know that they are connected with the whole world so the sustainability in the world is very important for every one of us and in the uh, patterns of um, patterns of compassion is to um, is to um, do as what you say and say as what you do. Uh, and uh, we hope that we could we could teach the children to and uh, not only learn the knowledge, but they also would 
um, be creative can how to uh, extend their helping hand and expand their um, potential and don't underestimate their ability. They are able to help. And the compassion action in the United States, we teach children not take everything for granted. They could um, uh, they could uh, grow a great habit in their daily life, and every day uh, put in t put a little coin in their bamboo bank uh, to accumulate their. Uh, compassion heart in their own, in their little mind. Um, the city school, they, uh, they went on the street to do the fundraising and they take actions to expand their ability to and their potential to help. And many children, they save up their, uh, their pocket money to, to help the people in need. And also they help, they take action to help the food bank. And, and the, the, they receive their first award. And as a, ch a, a parent, a parent have to share Parents was very happy uh, that she when she received the award from the school, and she said, "It's very hard for me that to see that your children to receive the loving award." She hoped that in the future, she her children could become a grow up to become a very loving and kind person. And the transforming the world, uh, transform the uh, virus pandemic into benefiting, uh, transform the situation into benefiting the whole world. We need to use the background, background, um, the online, the internet technology and to connect with the whole world. And we also connect in uh, the action, compassion actions in the Mexico. And in the Mexico, the principal of CG school, they, uh, they, every day they, she teach the children, the students in the school, uh, tell them that they could uh, donate their, their clothes and food to the uh for for the um the children for in the foster family and in the indonesia we we also have in in the indonesia we also have a compassion action and in the middle school she she say she finally realized that uh, to do good deeds, you don't have to do something big. You can accumulate little, small uh, good deeds every day that you could make impact on this world in this world. Uh, so uh, the um, Hill School in the in the in Turkey, the refugee from the uh, the refugee in the Hill School, she say that uh, a, a, a teacher say that this one of the students make a big vow that in the future when she grow up, she wants to create an opportunity in the world for the ch all the children will be able to get education. And so uh, students, they uh, draw, um, they they draw and they say that they want to help other children, other, other students in the whole world. And they also have a play. Uh, they 
they want to know that when they see something of fear or someone was bullied by other children, they want to. Um, they are learning what, how to deal with the bully situation, how to deal with wisdom, and help the the children who is suffering. And the, we also have a fundraising event hosted by our student in city school to do the fundraising for the to help the Ukraine refugees. Uh, and right now there's a, a, some violence in, in the United States because the gun control issues and there's there's message in Yanto is that if we use wisdom and Dharma teachings to deal with all the issues in the whole world, there is hope to transform and transform the the world and we will be able to um and to bring peace to the world. And we we get the um the recognition from California State Legislature and the Re Legislature Chris Holden Award for its um for its character education and we also get a award from the Monrovia City for the recognition and we get the um, recognition from the uh, for the de 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 dedication service in the affair of community so uh, my, more and more people know about city and will be able to learn the teachings of dharma and will be we will be able to hold our hands together to change the world to make big change in the world and make this bring peace to this world. And if we could take action to be compassionate and and to purify the mind of the whole world, the mind of the people in the whole world. And that will be my sharing. Thank you. She's the CEO of the G Education Mission in the United States. Uh, there's your son playing while you were talking. We, we were afraid that we, we, we thought that was, uh, uh, that was a mistake. Uh, we didn't know that the song was played by you. Thank you, the CEO of Chiji Education Mission. Thank you for your sharing. And your sharing was very clear. I was in the United States and Sister Xie accompanied me to, uh, to tour the Chiji School in the United States. And uh, in Message and Yen's teaching, we heard that Message and Yen uh, gave them blessings because uh, Message and Yen hoped that they will be able to bring Chiji's value and education um, to the United States so that we could make change in the mind of the students in the United States. They will students will value the compassion and take action in their daily life and accumulate the low, the low efforts that they will be able to make change. The, the butterfly effect can affect the whole world. If you have a, a a thought starting all the good deeds starting from a little thought. Thank you, thank you, CEO from City United States. 
Uh, for this whole this morning, there is so there there is glitch this morning, and there's a challenge in the technology. And finally, I I remember that I recall that there's I changed the settings in my computer when I went back to. Um, Huali and for sharing in front of Master Zheng Yan,、uh, so the share the settings in my computer was not、uh, setting back. So this morning we have glitch.、Uh, there's uh, the computer settings was have have to be readjusted this morning and.、Uh, I'm. I apologize for the waiting for about fifteen minutes this morning.、Mm. The next time when we encounter the same problem, we will be able to figure out right away how to resolve this issue. As、uh, from Xinbei, uh, city, uh, Liu Yi. Cecily, E, she say we、uh, she understand how difficult it is to、um, to resolve the technology glitch, and she say、uh, keep your chin up the whole、uh, keep your chin up the technology team of the online study group. Uh, thank you, Han Wen, and thank you. Uh, sister, say that、uh, the technology group that keep your chin up. We know that you are putting a lot of effort. Uh, thank you for not uh for not complaining about the glitch this morning. Thank you, everyone. And sister Anson and. From Kingman, and our fundraising, we've already um for have uh fundraised forty two thousand four hundred and eighty eight um flower uh lotus of flowers. That means that um one flower is a hundred is one million dollars, and we've already do the. Fundraising for um four hundred million dollars. Uh, we don't need to have we don't need to have authority, but we need to have an impact in this world. The good impact in this world. Uh, the great reap. Uh, uh, after we connected with Master Zhen Yan, we uh we do the sharing in front of Master Zhen Yan, and our uh teams they um they volunteers it to write out their positive feedback, and. From the ITV, Pang Yian, director of Pang Yian, she says she is very grateful that all the、uh, team members support. She say, although、uh, people think that I'm old, but I don't think I'm old because I keep my my body and mind healthy because I keep learning and I've never stopped learning and. To be alive, you need to take actions every day. I, uh, I still work. I never stop working, and I take take a walk from three thousand to five thousand steps. And um, um, brother Tao, uh, he's his. The die episode, die drama about Brother Chow, about the dimension families, um, is very touching. And every day, 
before the sunset, the atmosphere and the view is very, uh, very magnificent. So uh, even at the end of uh, human life, we encounter dimension. We uh, tell Father Chow, Dr. Chow, gave us a good example, set a good example how to deal with the dimension. A family suffer from, family members suffer from dementia. And Sister Wang Hui from Shandong Hai, Weihai, she said she, uh, uh, she was, um, she was from uh, oh she was from Malaysia, um she say uh, when sister uh, teacher Mary went to Malaysia about nine years ago, I was very it was the starting point for me to join the online study group, um now I uh, she say she always listened to the. Uh, online study girl from the telegram and she never thought that she learned so much from the online study group but she never thought that one day she would be able to uh, share what she learned with everyone so uh, she said that uh, now after the sharing she uh, said that every she appreciate everyone accommodate her because she is not very uh, she her sharing was not very fluent but she was very mindful and this uh from the wu cheng yao from the uh da ai shan ling uh, the Sunday is a disaster area after the uh, flood, a severe flood. City built a village there. Um, Wu Cheng Yao's Wu Cheng Yao sisters, Wu Cheng Yao, um, she uh, went with many teachers to help the children in Shanding area, Shanding Dai village. Uh, and uh, she said, uh, Sister Wu Chen Yao, she said her family, her father and her grandma both suffer from dementia. Uh, so when she saw this Dai, Dai TV and hear the sharing from uh, Dr. Chao, she was very touched because she have all the all the situation that they describe in the Dai drama and from the sharing of Dr. Chao, she already uh, she already uh, have the experience and she know she learned so much from the sharing. And uh, from she, uh, so the topic of today's good deeds really require everyone's effort. Uh, in 2021, uh, July, uh, there was a, a severe uh, disaster of flood in Henan uh, province in China. So actually, usually the mean annual rainfall was 700, but from um, 17th to 21st in July, um, during these few days, but the mean and the, the rainfall rain 772 Millimeters, millimeters. So during these few few days, uh, the rainfall was so heavy, so it caused floods. And then the Jingu, Jingguang North Road uh, Tunnel um, is the one of is one of the main traffic arteries uh, of uh, Henan, and there were over twenty uh, two hundred cars trapped of 
um, in the to, um, in the highway, and the disaster was so severe. So let's hear in the master's teaching. There are so many disasters in this world. And this is what the Buddha said about uh, our world being impermanent. It's impermanence. Uh, so we do not have the mentality of that I be I'll believe when I see it. So if when we see it with our eyes, and come to believe that it is true. It's already too late. It's already too late. And this is why I often say that time is running out. Now I say, um, we're not acting fast enough to make an impact. When there was still time, we could say time is running out, so we make act quickly. Now I say, Despite, despite acting quickly, the impact we make might not be enough. So we can see how urgent the world crisis is. Thank you, Master Chen Yan. There are so many uh, disasters in the world. Phase two disaster, the victims uh, build, uh, still feel panic, and then uh, in front of their eyes, um, they're still like mud everywhere. So how can they face to each other, uh, to to the future? And the Buddhist have uh, arise due to the needs of suffering people. Volunteers gathered together from uh, from different cities. No matter they wear the blue shirts, white pants, or gray shirts, white pants, they gather together and work night and day and keep um, collect the supplies and then purchase um, the supplies and then uh, make the distribution as quick as possible. So they face to the victims and not only um, give them the uh, tangible goods, but also give them sincere comforts. These kind of um, spirits that people are my brothers and all things are kind. It's just like, uh, even though we are in different cities, but we share uh, the same sky or the, the same sun. And you, you will not have, you will not say that uh, you don't have the coats, but actually I'll share my coats with you. So the Ziji volunteers uh, came from several countries, countries and cities. Some come, came from far places, and they also encouraged the volunteers around there to come out. Uh, it's about 10 p.m. in the world. In the night, so uh, the volunteers still moving the supplies. We're going to um, the uh, some other places and then uh, deliver the supplies as quick as possible. Volunteers have been holding distributions of daily necessities these days. The distributions were set up with wisdom. Volunteers lay out the goods uh, and the recipients will stop at each booth to take what they need. All the items are things they needed. What they need right now. The necessity the necessary things. So I got towers, so blanket and the bucket. Yeah, these things in my house all been flooded. flooded. I'm also one of the people in the disaster. We came to volunteers to receive and distribution the, the goods and help the elderly and the children. Today, Siji came to distribute 
buckets, wash towers, other the things that we really need. Many elders uh, was touched with tears. They are extremely thankful. So the recipients were greeted warmly by so many people with the power of love. This is a sincere love. Thank you, Master Zhen Yin. Uh, during this time, there are so many stories that it was very touched, it was very touching. Uh, one of the stories, um, I feel, I was so impressed. And this is a, it's a cargo truck uh, with folding cots. And actually, um, the path of the truck is just like, it's very similar with the uh, Typhoon Yanghua. So the car is kind of, uh, the, the truck is like a run a race with the typhoon. So, and the family sit on the, sit in the chair. They don't have time to get rest and they don't have time to eat meals. They just keep going and going. They just want to uh, bring the uh, folding pots to the disasters area, disasting area. Uh, areas as quick as possible. So there are spirits that uh, who forget selfness in the interest of the public is so touching. And because of the volunteers' work, um, many um, pop, uh, many shops owners and the neighborhood of the people in the community they also join in this volunteer work. And also, uh, a lot of young people was touched by the volu city volunteers. They join in uh, with the, the, the volunteers and they help each other, help the neighbors with sincere heart and help the victims to clean the invite environment. So, so the young faces um, was shining with um, glory of with glory of helping people. So if anyone who can, who would like to help, so the victims can be helped. If we have more people with love, then there will be more hope in the world. Hope we can uh, become uh, and volunteers and Bhutsava to help more and more people. Thank you, uh, our volunteers and to share this story. And actually, uh, actually, this work is not easy because they are not only need to prepare the PowerPoint, but they need to write down each word to uh, what they are going to share because they need, because their uh, sharing needs to be translated into different languages. So let's share uh, these uh, photos or actually you don't need to be expert uh, then you can start you need to get started to be an expert so our um translation translating team in taiwanese uh, they help each other they jump out if anyone who needs help so uh, if we can uh, work as a team, then there's a, there will be a permanent work. But if we work as a single person, then um, our work will not last long. So we need to believe ourselves that uh, we will make, we will become success, successful if we um, put the whole heart or the whole, um, all myself into the work. So uh, there is a feedback from the online. So why we? So he said it's a children's day. So let's uh, thank you, everyone sharing. But actually, it's the uh, Dragon Boat Festival in Taiwan. So Zilin's sister, thank you for your work and that make children's life changed. Uh, I believe that is the blessing sent to the uh, 
uh, educate the the leaders in the um, USA. Thank you. Thank you um, for your work uh, from the USA, the leaders of the educational chapters. Uh, thank you for your sharing. Your impact has been uh, permanent. Thank you, Sister Zhong Chongxun. So I believe Sister Chongxun, uh, she will be touched by your words. And Yu Rong from New Taipei City. Uh, so you have uh, you have a big challenge at the beginning, but you conquer the difficulties. Brilliant! Congratulations. So, Zhang Linqing from Kingman. So there will always have difficulties and uh, challenges uh, for doing a online broadcast. So this is the uh, our team. So, okay, so this because of the time. So we'll skip some of the. Uh, some of the work from last. Okay, so let's take a look at what happened just last week, and this is this is our catchy flex time. And Yu Mei really, you know, do what she wishes to do, and we have a Da She that have the mayor donation, and we have also Nan Tong that is very creative in education, and. Uh, we also have like all you may from Malaysia thinking about a like life core and the promotes the vegetarianism. And we have Lin Ji Hui as a guide reader, and she is really wonderful in making his mouth into actions. And Huang Sheng Wei is a like bone marrow, like, like, like a volunteer, and he is very successful in doing this. And we also have a team from Da so that conquer all the difficulties and do everything perfectly. And we have Lian Zhu, and she is great, and she carries her great love and talk about Sushi all the time. And we have Jin Gui and Liang Ming, and they are so creative and have like a new coin bags, and they, they like a collect all the donations in a really creative way. And we have also, and uh, we have uh, another piece of uh, like a catchy phrase from Shouli in the United States. And she, she said this in English, all right? And let's go and call out to Guo Yumei in Malaysia. And uh, she promotes uh, like a vegetarianism. And uh, this is a great thing to collect uh, blessings. And uh, we have Lin Ji Hui, okay, as a guide reader. And uh, she talks about a bone marrow donation. And the bone marrow donor, Huang Sun Wei, grabbed the chance to help people. And this is love. And uh, we have a relay race promoting like a bone marrow donation. And this is a kind of a touching. And uh, we have a Yang Minghe. And the Chen Huizhu, who really does everything just without any asking anything in return, and Wei Lianzhu on the ITV, and she says this is a great show to watch. And we have to take knowledge to Nanto, and uh, this is a really great and a creative way. And uh, we really have like a new inspiration here. And we also have Liu Cairong, and uh, she devotes herself into Sichi, and uh, she devotes every way, you know, on the Bodhisattva paths. And, and so, so, ladies and gentlemen, and let's give them a big hand. And this is a great Catchy Fresh team. And Catchy Fresh team, you are wonderful. Thank you very much. And now today, and we have our like 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 a show today, and we have Li Diming and Hong Rochen, and. If you are always, you know, with them, you know, on their line team, and uh, you will know that he always gives us like wonderful information here, and uh, the I technology is always uh, like an enterprise, enterprise, like a, in our international stage, right? 
And、uh, if you ask me like how many awards you know do do they have, and I will say this more than like a hundred, right? Okay. And who is the graphic designers? And we have a lot of wonderful volunteers, you know, doing such good graphic designing here. And before we. Have uh, like uh, leading me, and let's、uh, take a look at, at、uh, what is all about. All right, and、uh, we have this multifunctional solar energy inflatable light. And、uh, if we are in a security party, then you will know how difficult the job is, right? Especially when we are doing this like a、uh, research and the the, the 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 relief job during the night. And if we have the like a solar energy inflatable light. And we need just like a USB cable, and we just connect it to the USB port, and we can just use the solar energy, and we can just take it as the light. And it is like a awarded, like a for like a Taiwan Excellence Award. So it is really really important that we have a light during the night, okay, especially when we are doing a relief work. So this is important, and if you use it as a, like a Night light and it is just wonderful, and as well, it is also a pillar for you. Okay, when you do exercise. So this is a compassion technology, and、uh, we are so grateful that we can have it right. And now we also have to take care of our eyes, right? So let's take a look at this. And、uh, if you feel like a like an eyesore, then we have an eco far, okay, like like a warm pad right here, and、uh, we can just use it. And well, and、uh, through the image, then you will know this is、uh, easy to use, right? And、uh, it is really portable, and、uh, you can just、uh, have like a three temperature settling、uh, adjustment. And you can also arrange like how much time you need to take care of your eyes, right? And、uh, this is wonderful. This is our new product on like、uh, okay from like dye technology. And here, this is a pair of shoes that I think that you already have, right? Because it's a part of our uniform. And when you wear them, then you will feel this is kind of comfortable. And we have also the dye eye like an anti-bacterial hand cream. Well, we have a virus in our air, and、uh, you have to wash your hands. I know during a pandemic, and it makes your hands like itchy and crack. This is so we have like anti, like like a vegetarian, like a hand cream. Okay, so especially when we are doing a relief job in the disaster areas with the water and hand cream is kind of a must for us to take care of our hands, right? And it protects also our hands from getting cracked or itchy. And we add like a five different essences inside this, and the essences can just protect your hand, and they will just relieve your mind. And all the money that we have for when you buy the product, and we will donate the money and do the relief. Job internationally, and this is all about our hand cream. Okay, and all the products from the high technology, and we will donate every single dollar to charity. And we see a lot of people who are helpless, and we hope that we can just do a little bit things and deliver hope. And we invite all the people and to do the good deeds and let's collect the love and collect the fund and let's do something exactly and help people who are in need. So wherever you are, and we have a dai technology, and we need your hand and support us. And the dai technology are really is really awarded many times. Okay. And corporate social responsibility, and it's been a fifth year, and the AI technology showed around this responsibility, and this is therefore the AI technology is awarded. So you know we also promote the eco-friendly and and the products, and we also have like a circular economy, and the AI you know technology is also awarded more than a hundred like times, right? And it's been the twelfth year, and、uh, we again, the AI technology has been awarded for more than a hundred times, right? And let's、uh, take a walk, and it got the golden medal, golden award, and、uh, this is 
the plastic wooden, and uh, the designing is done by the jet cutter. Okay, water cutter, and uh, it, it is all pollution free. Okay, and this is a kind of a light box with uh, all the like like a reusable material, and uh, this is the same as the like a blanket. And the light box will just light it up like itself. Okay, when we are there, and we reduce the waste. Okay, and we we just follow up the idea like a cradle to cradle, and we extend the lives of all the materials, right? And therefore, we got a gold medal. Okay, in the invention of Taiwan. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big hand. And also, by the way, we also have the protective gong, and it is a hundred percent like a eco-friendly, made from like a plastic bottles. And we use like a new technology, and we just paste on some kind of coating against the virus and like like a pollutions. So this is a very very good like a protective gong, okay, on people's body against the old viruses and the bacteria. And this is a base, and it is about a hundred grams, and it can just help like a security parties when they are doing the rescue like like a rescue jobs, right? And、uh, we can carry like、uh, instant noodles, like、uh, pens and、uh, notebooks, right? With them, okay, when they have to go outside. And、uh, we also have、uh, this like a、uh, backpack, okay. And、uh, we also need、uh, like the formal wheels on it、uh, for us to, you know, carry them very easily. So I don't know whether you like all the products from our Daai technology, and I will say they are very important. And this is kind of a heartwarming invention for us, right? Okay, and let's understand all the inventions, all the ideas, okay, from compassion, please, right? Okay, and.、Uh, And let's talk about the young here. And as Mr. Zheng Yan says, right? Okay. And she says that when we are like、uh, dressed up, and、uh, in Chinese, like a、uh, clothes also means blessed. So when we are dressed up, when we wear like clothes, and、uh, we have to be decent, and、uh, we have to be also comfortable, of course, right? Okay. So I will keep running this film, and we can see the images, and you will see how elegant and decent when we wear the clothes, look、okay, made, okay, by like the eye technology. And right here, and we have Di Ming and Rose Chen, and here are our volunteers from our humanitarian team in Kaohsiung. And、uh, we know that because of the pandemic, that you can't come over to Gaoshan, but、uh, we are still here. Okay, looking forward to your lecture and the presentation. So we have something to say, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. And I know that okay, the idea of the、uh, technology is that、uh, let's coexist with the earth, right? And、uh, we turn garbage into gold, and、uh, we turn useless into useful things, right? And、uh, we care about、uh, our environment, and although we are spending money and we are consuming the the earth resources, at the same time we are also doing the. Protection on our environment, and this is the power of a DAI technology. And、uh, we are really honored because you know we are part of the volunteers. Okay, for like a DAI technology, right? So let's carry out our love and、uh, safeguard the, our Earth, right? And this is a wonderful job and a wonderful mission for us, right? Thank you very much, Diming and the Rosen. And I believe that、uh, you are really, really grateful also to our like humanitarian team in Gaoshan. Okay, and this is a wonderful team, and、uh, they really work hard doing everything to promote、uh, not only vegetarianism but、uh, also the eco-friendly idea, right? And、uh, it is as Mr. Zheng Yan says that we have to cooperate and、uh, do everything in a harmonious way.
So they are working hard, right? So now let's take a look at、uh, who is here with us online today. And of course, right, let's see me and Rosen. I like to be with you because you have a positive energy. So let's go, right? You are here. I know that Deming and Rosen, and Mayun and、uh, everyone online. Good day. So can you hear me? Oh yes. Okay. So. I'll just do the double check. Can you hear me, everyone? Yeah, clear. Please, you can begin talking now. Thank you. And because of a pandemic, and、uh, I, I, I can't just go to Gaoxiong from Taipei. So let's me stay online, right? And it's been two years since the COVID nineteen broke out, right? And we, I, I think, you know. We also need to create like new ideas, and of course, like a soul does, like a AI technology. Okay, and we really have to promote the like a eco-friendly ideas and like like a eco environment protection and the disaster prevention education. Of course, right? Okay, and during the pandemic, so what has AI technology done so far? So let's take a look at. And you will see like some numbers here, and they are thirty-two, fourteen, and fifty-six, right? What do they mean? And fourteen actually in the middle means it's been the fourteenth years since like the AI technology has established, and we also extend the relationship and the cooperations with like more than two hundred enterprises, right? And thirty-two on the left means that it's been the thirty-second year since our like. Environmental protection recycling job began, right? And the volunteers find the value of life. Okay, when they do the recycling job, and、uh, they put what Mr. Zheng Yin says into action and protect our like Earth. And this is all the results that we see, right? Okay. And the fifty-six, of course, means that it's been the fifty-six since the city was established. Established in nineteen, like like a sixty six, right? And、uh, this is a wonderful organization with beauty, with compassion. Okay, and、uh, I'm very grateful that and、uh, we can okay follow up Mr. Zheng's idea, and、uh, we can also okay do the charity jobs. Okay, and、uh, we can also okay do something to protect the earth, right? And this is wonderful. So we can. Do something and、uh, have the cooperation with、uh, some other business, and within the thirty-two years of the recycling mission, and aside from some relevant like like、uh, governmental, like 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 a spas, and、uh, we also have the okay recycling like a spas. In all the Jin Si Ho in Taiwan, and of course, then we will have recyclable resources, right? And they are what Dai Technology is going to use, right? And of course, then we turn them into like a valuables, like like a products, right? And here, and let me tell you that we also have uh, like like a、uh, Cici Junior High School in Tainan, and we also do the recycling job there. And we also promote the like eco-friendly, which is like an environmental protection idea there. And、uh, we will just do the design and、uh, and some other in the like a works there. Okay, so people will know more about Cici in Taiwan. And not only in Taiwan, we also do this overseas, including Hong Kong, Philippines, China, Indonesia, etc. And、uh, During the pandemic, and、uh, we also introduce such ideas and、uh, and have some interactions online with all the communities internationally. And it is very important that we we can't just talk face to face, but we meet online with everyone. So I'm also grateful to all the people around the world, and、uh, this is a chance for Dai Technology. And 
we also have some volunteers from UN, and we also promote our like ideas, okay, into UN. So we let the world understand what Zhiji and the AI technology is doing, okay. And of course, as Mr. Zheng Yan says, right, okay, let let's just okay purify the world from its very beginning, like sources, of course, right. And next, and Rosen has been doing a lot in Dai technology, and she also has a lot of like staff and volunteers, and like doing a lot of like jobs protecting our earth. Okay, for us, right? And uh, she also okay promotes such ideas in Philippines, and. This is really like like a touching, and she also promotes like uh, such ideas in like a Ziji Junior High Schools. So now let's uh, have Rosen, and uh, although this is kind of a COVID nineteen, and uh, we have a pandemic in the world, but uh, she never stopped her steps of doing such jobs. Right, ladies and gentlemen, good day, and. Uh, I think you feel kind of surprised, right? And, and uh, why why I talk about the Philippines with you today, right? And in 1995, I had the affinity going to Philippines with Grandpa Lee, and uh, he invited uh, almost like a 30 like senior volunteers in the Philippines. And therefore, I was one of them. So I had the chance visiting, visiting the Philippines there. And on the way there, and some senior volunteers like um, Mami Chi, okay, talk about their own experience, right? And it was more than 20 years ago, and uh, we already had the Ciji there, Ciji branch offices in there. And it is the reason that we had to go there and know something overseas. And I can speak Japanese. Therefore, I originally wanted to go to Japan and promote Mr. Zheng Yan's idea in Japan. But I also thought that the Japan is a paradise, right? And uh, I also have some relatives in the Philippines. Therefore, finally, I just decided to do something in the Philippines. And it is therefore I went there and uh, chose to take care of the volunteers in the Philippines. And I had a chance to have a clinic, I mean, free clinic there. And I went there with a lot of doctors in the free clinic in the Philippines. And the free clinic was really wonderful because you know, we had to serve more than 3,000 patients here. And from the pictures, then you would know that we had to walk, okay? It, to the plan, okay, when we are, are ready to go abroad, all right, okay? And you will see, like, how many volunteers are waiting to take the flight, okay, to the Philippines, right? So you see how big the free clinic team was, right, okay? And you can also see from the picture that we have a Si Yue with us. And previously, we got everything ready the day before we set off. And as we arrived in the Philippines, we borrowed, you know, wherever we can borrow as the site, as a spot for the free clinic. And for all the equipments, and of course, right, we had to just settle them up, okay, and we have to do everything by ourselves in the Philippines. And we had a, a, a lot of uh, like like uh, like uh, services, like uh, we have like a uh, like like a surgeon here, uh, we have uh, like a dentist here, 
and uh, we also have uh, like uh, eye doctors there mm -hmm. and see so we had uh, to serve uh, patients in many ways right to relieve their pains uh, and if we are uh, if we were lack of uh, some kind of equipment and we went into the hospital and the borrow the equipment right okay and this is the picture okay of a dentist and his patient why i talk about this picture because you know i still remember the patient the lady's teeth was really difficult to be extracted so and you will see the patients with cactus and the eye doctor was taking care of all the patients with cactus and the next day they became very happy because you know they had the like 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 operation and the surgery and it means that they are getting more and more healthier okay so all the volunteers are also waiting outside there doing activities and they are lighting up and they are doing some like a group activities and sing some Suji songs, right? And it is also a very, very wonderful like uh, interactions with all the patients there. Okay. Uh, the sister, she say, uh, she's was already 70 years old and she have she thought that uh, she uh, she's still out to a shoulder heavy responsibility responsibility of Tsuji in Philippines. So she thought she would like uh, Xiao Zhen, Sister Xiao Zhen, to take the responsibility responsibility over. And it's very often to see that uh, it's very often to see um, when we do the free clinic outreach in the Philippines, we see so many children, so they suffer from various uh, disease. And they need to have a surgery right away because that's the only, maybe be, they need to travel uh, days to the the site where we offer free clinic and that might be the only time the only chance in their life for these poor people to get surgery so our surgeon and on our team, team, on team, they um, they would no matter how difficult the situation is, they would uh, operate the surgery sometimes in the school, or sometimes it's in a very uh, hard to imagine how difficult the situation was. We had surgery not in the hospital. Uh, but in a, this is in a school, in a, in a classroom, we have surgery and we have patients waiting there. And this, uh, no matter how old the, uh, the volunteers are, uh, they, uh, they have to work day and night to help uh, taking care of the patients after the surgery in the Philippines. And sometimes they need to not only take care and comfort them, and also the volunteer need to um, clean up the wound and apply the medi medicine on the wound. And, and this picture, and it is, it was taken by Brother Xiaochen, who has already passed away. And this is a, a very typical situation happened in Philippines. 
Tima uh, friend clinic outreach um, because the doctor need to work very long hours um, for for the operation. So uh, they feel very tired and their shoulders are very tight and their feet are swollen. So they need um, massage from volunteers. The doctors need massage from volunteers. Otherwise, they could not. Of they, uh, they would under too much pressure and stressful to uh, to continue their operation. So, uh, this year, the uh, Philippine Tima team invite. Um, invite other uh, team uh, team from other country uh, the, uh, those volunteers I mentioned that over 70 years old, they were uh, they uh, still working on the team uh, as a volunteer to help the patients. Now they are over 90 years old and they are still uh, working in the city as volunteers. I'm very grateful for them to, uh, to give me this opportunity to experience the uh, Tima, how much the Tima work in the Philippines to help the poor in remote area. Uh, in the dentist team, uh, I was 40 years old and I saw 40, a, a patient who was 40 years old and I was 40 years old. I have healthy teeth, but I thought I saw that patient, um, the, the her uh, teeth had a cavity and all kinds of problems. So the doctor had to, re to remove all her teeth. So I, I thought after I saw that case, I was, I realized how fortunate I was. I, uh, I'm very grateful that I was so fortunate, I'm so blessed, blessed that I have the ability to be able to help others. I'm not a person who needs help. In uh, the past, in the past, 30, 13th of May, uh, uh, there's a national exam for the junior high school students in Taiwan, and there are students who were confirmed cases of COVID-19. And so um, the, the, the students, pay, the confirmed cases, students, patients, they were, they, their pay, parents were very anxious. So they need, uh, they need the uh, team, uh, team, our medical professions uh, to take care of them. Uh, we also sent uh, the CG herbal tea uh, for the COVID-19 patients. And we, um, we loaded um, packet, um, uh, we loaded the package for the patients uh, with herbal tea and also um, the thermostat and we gave them uh, some uh, food and porridge and all kinds of material, daily necessities for the, uh, for the patients. And some students, they confirm cases, COVID cases, students, they say, 
they uh, apologize that they uh, uh, make uh, their parents and relatives and people who care about them worry about them. And that's all my sharing. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you, Sister Ro Chen, for sharing. Uh, she has uh, so much more uh, stories to share, but today the uh, time is limited. And what she what she wanted to express is that uh, the true feelings of what she has experienced and what she has done in CG, and she participated in uh, not only the eye technology development, she also participated in uh, compassion and relief work and medical uh, team, team a team in the world to release the suffering and not only to uh, relieve the suffering of physical body and also comforting the refugees heart and patients heart by heart warming uh, actions and take good care of the people who are in need and hope that one, one day they will become the person uh, who will be able to help others. They don't need to, uh, they don't need uh, help from others anymore. We hope that one day uh, people who receive help will be able to turn their the love to others. And uh, we are very grateful for Master Jian and CG Volunteer for the great love they offered to us. And we already have an uh, important innovation. The first first one is that we cooperate with work with easy car cooperation. We they hope that their car is a very popular uh, car that um, used in Taiwan. They hope that uh, they could use the car with material, recyclable material. And we were not we we at first uh, we we received this project. We were not uh, confident uh, that we will be able to um, to succeed in our innovation. But finally, we put into great effort and we resolve the issues. And and we also work with the Gokuro company uh the the scooter the electric electrical scooter company in the taiwan we also work with them and and their seat the saddle seat and the google scooter uh we also use uh uh that technology recyclable material uh, this is uh, our new innovation in year 2020. Uh, our management team is compiling the uh, report of uh, corporate responsibility in the society and uh, our report from Dai TV, Dai Technology and uh, in the last year, we are very grateful that CG technology has worked with, uh, uh, work with CG, uh, work with Foxconn to uh, to purchase BNT vaccine for the residents in the in Taiwan. Uh, the AI technology also makes a donation for uh, we offer our donation. We are very grateful that we have the opportunity to be able to 
uh, work with Foxconn and CD Foundation to purchase the vaccine for the citizens of Taiwan. And today, uh, we uh, I uh, I bring a little gift for everyone. Uh, it's a golden award we just received. It's a whistle. Although it's a plastic, uh, uh, from the PP recycle, the PP bags recycle, plastic recycle, uh, we make this. Uh, we make this whistle. Let's take a look at the screen. You can see that everyone get this little gift as a whistle. Uh, when there's an emergency, you can blow, blow in this whistle. Oh, uh, because it, it can make a very loud noise when you encounter emergency situation and there's an alerting loud noise. Uh, so, uh, and hope that every one of us are don't underestimate your potential and every one of us had to put in, uh, gather our little efforts and we unite our heart and hold our hands together. Uh, we will make a big difference in the whole, in the whole world and, and hope that everyone have a harmonious family and healthy, uh, healthy body and hope that we will all sustain through this pandemic era. And we are very grateful for this couple uh, from Dai Technology. Uh, uh, we didn't know that this whistle was golden, uh, re received golden award for innovation. And this uh, whistle was, uh, they are blowing this whistle. They're blowing the whistle. And this, this whistle is made from um, the recycled PE bags in Kaohsiung. And you can carry this with you, very lightweighted. And it's a name, there's a name tag on it. Um, and it's, the size is very small and you can carry with you and it's very, uh, you can use it at an emergency situation to, uh, to sound alerting voice to raise people's attention. And this is a golden award innovation product. And the eye technology not only uh, make it effort in innovation in recycling technology, they also uh, uh, make up this uh, comforter uh, that is uh, comforting many people, uh, many refugees hurt and warm up their body um, in the cold weather. Uh, Ruo Chen, Sister Ruo Chen is like a Guan Yin Bodhisattva. She, she is very um, loving and kind and listening to her sharing is very comforting. Um, the eye technology is is a very, make a benefiting the whole world and sus make the sustainability possible for to love the part to love the mother earth and 2000 2020 uh that brother Ding Ming said uh you uh, 
the Thai Technology received award for over a hundred items and uh, all kinds of awards is uh, too many to mention in uh, right now. Uh, Dae Technology is a compassionate technology company. Uh, they that they use all the recycling material for the uh, to make the goods for daily necessities. And when I listened to their sharing, I saw Gogoro on the I uh, on the TV on the screen. I was very surprised. Gogoro is a very popular electrical scooter in Taiwan, and I I was very uh, surprised to see that I can manage to work with Gogoro company. It's great job. Thank you, Dai Technology. Thank you. And let's blow the whistle again. Okay. Thank you for uh, Ding Ming and uh, Rotten's uh, good sharing. And, and thank you for the uh, the whistle. So let's, uh, let's check it out again. Thank you. It's a wonderful gift. So it's a good decision to come to the Kaohsiung Jing Seho. And uh, you are so welcome to visit our Daai Technology Store. And there are many uh, uh, good products that we can uh, we can we can buy. And uh, now I'm going to share some of the feedback we received from men of China, like uh, uh, in that way. Mm, he says he says that uh, make a record of history and be a witness to the story. And uh, Master Zheng Yan is a Ciji's first documentary volunteer. And uh, in that way, says that uh, actually he was uh, taking the training course to become Ciji certified commissioner. And uh, he is going to focus on the documentary uh, volunteer. And uh, he will always remember that uh, he learned from Master Zheng Yan, who said that the today's work will become tomorrow's history. And uh, it is always inspiring to see young volunteers' presentation like uh, Yuru. And uh, he says ever since he made Ciji two years ago, and uh, he did the recycling work and feel grateful. And we also have a feedback from San Dong Wang Hui. And uh, she says that uh, using Jing's aphorism as a teaching material is a way to make a learning fun. So teacher Lin Xiuxia is sharing, we are with you holding hands. It's very great. And uh, her sharing about the transformation to a little girl's life to a better way is very inspiring. Wang Hui also says that uh, he is an elementary school teacher. He likes to teach Jin's everything in her class as well. And also by teaching Jin's everything, she also learned so much. And we also have a uh, Chen Lingjing sharing. She says that uh, she is impressed about the Chen Zhenghui's sharing, who talk about that like, the Ciji volunteers actually are not human beings. They are living bodhisattvas. And uh, Chen Zhenghui is a very, is a very remarkable. And uh, uh, it gives them a very uh, uh, good inspiration. And, and then we also have a feedback from Liu Chunzhi. She is in praised by Chen Zhenghui's sharing too. 
So many people uh, has a very good uh, uh, feedback on Chen Zhenghui's sharing. She said that there was a big flood disaster in Lao 2018 that destroyed many houses. And Cixina only provide financial and material aid. They also provide a spiritual aid. And Chen is a very humble person. He said that uh, we live in a country, if our little dedication can benefit others, then it must be the merit accumulated from the previous life. So now we're going to go out to Mano China. So where are we going to? We're going to Shenyang. So it's a video uh, talk about the Cixi volunteers effort in Shenyang. Cixi volunteers took good care of one of the care recipient. So the topic is we use love to accompany the care recipient. This is uh, to telling you uh, we are going to uh, call out to Shenyang Liaoling. We wish everyone can stay healthy. But if there's something happened, the city volunteers always they provide care and love. And because of the COVID-19 pandemic, actually we uh, we stay closely with the people in need. And then uh, there's another video. Uh, talk about the city volunteers who work hard to promote vegetarian meal in the neighborhood. Um, as to show the gratitude to the workers who helped to collect the recyclable items for Ciji, and the Ciji volunteers prepare nice vegetarian meals. So we needed to promote the vegetarian meals and diligently. And uh, there was a recycling uh, station in the neighborhood. So the young girl, she said that uh, actually she was about to throw away her clothes, but knowing there was a recycling station, so she brought all the clothes here to the recycle. And now let's uh, talk about uh, what happened on the Ciji 55th uh, anniversary. So this is the kitchen in Shenyang Center. Ciji volunteers make the peach shape steam bun. And uh, they invite a master from the famous bakery come to the kitchen to teach them how to make a good uh, peach shape steam bun that present the longevity to celebrate the 55th anniversary. And uh, there also is how they uh, promote the environmental protection. So the uh, volunteers went into elementary school to teach the students the environmental protection concept since childhood. So today we're going to call out the speaker who was located in Shenyang. And we're going to call it to Yang Hui. So let's say, I'd like to stay with you because you have positive energies. Okay, hi, Yang Hui. Good day. Please give us your full screen. Everything is okay now. You may start your sharing. Thank you. So, uh, dear Master Zheng Yan, Masters at Jing's Abode, and everyone, my name is Yang Hui, and I'm going to share uh, one of our care recipients. My topic is relief suffering with love and compassion. So uh, the care recipient, Wang Youchen, who was born in 1966, single, has a stroke and diabetes problem and he received a minimum financial assistance from government. When we first met in November 2018, his house was very dirty and messy. 
and uh, he complained a lot about his wife, and uh, he said that uh, he used to be a famous chef, even own a hotel. And his first wife was murdered shortly after they got married, and then he lived with another woman who has a daughter for 16 years. But life is so impermanent. After she got a stroke, the woman and her daughter took all the money and left Wang Youcheng. Relatives and friends gradually left him as well. Because of the impact of the marriage and the illness, he felt helpless and always wanted to end his life. So Cici volunteers start to bring love and care for him. Start from the smallest details. We prepared the meals for the whole week and brought all the dishes to him. He hardly believed that there is a true love in the world. So he always looked at us with、uh, suspicious eyes and did not pay serious attention when we talked to him. As time went by, he was moved by our sincerity and dedication. So after a few months, he started to willing to talk. About more about himself. So during the conversation, it appeared to us that、uh, he complained about his life. He said that when he was healthy and wealthy, he always received many guests every day, treat them free meals and offer places for them to stay. So the volunteers realized that only Master Zheng Yan's teaching can resolve his、uh, grievances. So we often brought the vegetarian meals. We also brought gifts and blessings on the special occasions. And during the COVID nineteen pandemic, we use a mobile phone to chat with him. And when we noticed that he was not in the good mood, or speaking unclearly, or her eyes are bruised, or He only eats steamed buns every day, and we know he must fall again. So, without hesitation, we visit him immediately, and we brought the vegetarian meals, and、uh, not only one, but also relatives and friends are all touched. So, we start to share Jing's everything with him, and we share a Zijian monthly magazine for him. And、uh, we also share what we have learned from Master Zheng Yan teaching, and we encourage him to share Jing's everything as well, even though it will take him one or two hours to type Jing's everything. But it is a good way to rebuild his confidence. Now we can see the smile on Wang Youcheng's face, and now he is willing to share、uh, Jing's everything with other people. But、uh, through the participation of Ciji events, he was inspired to donate money into the Bamboo Coin Bank. He also invited more people to join the donation, and、uh, he also gave away the clothes to other、uh, people. So ever since he promoted environmental protection in 2019, he practiced the daily life. And pick up all the recyclable items on the street.、Um, even uh, he was not uh, in good condition, but sometimes he was complained by the bus driver if he carried the recyclable items on the on the bus. So, so he contributes a lot and.、Uh, After he joined the EOM Blessing Ceremony in 2019, he became more diligently and doing recycling work. So, doing recycling work became part of his life. Nowadays, he was、uh, inspire people who live in the neighborhood and other repair recipient. If time permits, he will deliver goods to recycling station and join environmental protection event. He even. Thought about buying a tricycle to carry recyclable items. So his mental condition is getting better and better, and become more cheerful. So this is just like what Master Zheng Yan told us: if there is a taste of sweetness in the heart, there will be no feeling of bitterness. Because of love and compassion, one's mental、uh, transformation changed 
in a better way, so he can make noodles by himself and start to have interaction with former work partners. We learn from this story that life is impermanent, and learn from Dharma teaching that love people unselfish, unselfish, some unselfishly without asking for return is very important. And Wang used to be a receiver, but now he is a giver. Actually, everyone is like a Buddhism canon. We accompany our care recipient, but as a matter of fact, we also learn from him to be more contentment, be grateful, understanding, and tolerant. So let us know that to use Dharma wisdom and teaching to eliminate our inner defilement. So this is my sharing. Thank you very much for your listening. Thank you to Yang Hui. You were sharing is wonderful. Thank you for Yang Hui. Thank you for Sister Yang Hui. It's a very、uh, heartwarming story, and because of your love, and、uh, we are we are really uh, uh, inspired. Even though the Wang Youchen、uh, needed to spend one or two hours to type. And to share the things every day to people. Thank you very much. Thank you again. Very、uh, wonderful and very good. And、uh, your presentation is just right on, right on time. So let's give him a big hand again. Thank you very much. Uh, so I just learned today that in many of China, June first is the、uh, National Child Day. So many、uh, participants that give us their feedback that even today is a special occasion, but it's great that we can stay with online study group. So, when you send the feedback to us, you may tell us where you are, so we can uh, uh, relate to the everyone. So many people they told me that the June first is the special occasion. So please uh, uh, keep uh, giving us、uh, your feedback. Every feedback to us actually is encouraging and inspiring. Even you are the first time, we、uh, really appreciate it. So you can also resharing the、uh, my study group to your friend and to、uh, more people to. Join with us, and if you mix the first round, actually you can see the rerun later. And Wen Dai from Hualien, she said that、uh, it's a good presentation from、uh, Shu Man.、Uh, thank you for the good、uh, presentation of、uh, Master Zhengyan's、uh, full step. I also appreciate uh, uh, Sister Wen Dai. She is one of our team member doing the、uh, documentary, and、uh, she also is an editor to all to the speakers to the lecture that we invite. So she always, uh, she always uh, take the job when I、uh, when I ask her to do it right away. I I always I all I quite often told them that this is a、uh, emergency, the urgent case, but they always can accomplish the mission. Thank you very much. We have a many team members, but when there is something urgently, I will always just bother some of the、uh, team members. So now we're going to the activity team, and I will give us、uh, the、uh, exercise to stretch out. So let's take a short break, and we will come back in a few minutes. So stay tuned. Thank you.
点点手举高，手脚并用，准备提水桶，提水桶啊，提水桶，提水桶啊，提水桶，再来，准备擦镜子，擦镜子往上，擦镜子往下。擦镜子往上，擦镜子往下点肩，就是点肩点肩，点肩手举也可以跟着唱哦。跑步，换边，再一次，换边，擦镜子，擦镜子往上，擦镜子往下。擦镜子往上，擦镜子往下点肩，很好，加油加油！准备大力甩手，大力甩手，还有力气的哦。准备踏步，慈济长照大爱多，慈济长照感恩多。提水桶啊，提水桶！化废为宝，工艺巧，街头巷尾人人好。准备擦镜子，擦镜子往上，擦镜子往下，擦镜子往上，擦镜子往下点肩。就是刚健，点肩向上，手举高。准备跑步，跑步，换边，再一次，换边，擦镜子，擦镜子往上，嘿，擦镜子往下，嘿，擦镜子往上，嘿，擦镜子往下，点肩，老吾当一壮生青年，还有，加油，加油，准备大力甩手，长照，长照，手牵手，心安自在，快乐活。准备擦镜子，擦镜子往上，啊，擦镜子往下，啊，擦镜子往上，啊，擦镜子往下点肩。嘿、hey, ，来给自己掌声一下。动一动之后呢，我们要借由一首花间歌，大家来做一下伸展。我们邀请张医师姐。好，待会儿呢，这次一个要求就是我们尽量延伸，而且要美美的哦。好，放下来，跟我同边就好了。来，来，来，拉你的脚，慢慢的哦，很慢。哎呀，放着你的感情，把你的感情延伸出来，尽量伸展。好，腿很慢，很慢，很慢，记得呼吸哦。好，放着。待会呢，用你的右手跟我同边就好，尽量伸展往上。花开花谢，辗转红尘。换手。来来去去，无常心。好，双手起立。扩胸，亲爱的，扩胸。悲欢离合，交相知。再一次哦，右手伸展往上。如梦似真。换手。不休飞，痴狂心。双手平起，平的就好了，扩胸。延伸，出海浮沉，起波涛，画大圈，脚跨出去，慢慢来，记得延伸，换边，画大圈，回，再一次画大圈，来，尽量伸展哦。开水不要紧，同边不同边没关系，记得伸展，回，很好，一样，双手打直往上延伸，尽量延伸，吸口气，放。
准备，从头开始，来，伸展，往上，转转红尘，转圆。双手平行出去，等一下扩胸，尽量延伸，悲欢离合，交相知。再一次，你的右手往上延伸，如梦似回，记得哦，你们的感情要放出来。双手平行扩胸。画大圈，延伸你的身体，回，换边，回，手脚双手往上，向你的右边，回。下来，继续画大圈，身体记得延伸下去。哦，好美哦！走，换边，看到现场哦，很优美的，很漂亮哦，好美好美的现场。双手往上，向你的右边延伸，回，再另外一边，哇，姿势好美哦。只有一个漂亮的 pose 好吗？在你的胸前开一朵花，优、嗯、美的伸展，给自己优美的掌声，真的好美的。好,好，请看一下我们这一组的团队哈，永远大爱感恩，一套套的啦，所以给他们热烈掌声。好。全体请坐哈，那接下来就是要唱我们的班歌了。刚才那一首歌，别怀疑，先变先，作词也是我们的副总，而我们的华研国。So please be seated, and now we are going to sing our wonderful song, and we have this song from like Yang Zipu from H I M Him International Music International. I mean, in cooperation, and the song, of course, is named like a "Guest in the Cloud." And let's sing this song all together first. And this is a song for online study group Gaoxiong. I love the study group on Wednesday, and、uh, we have a good words and we have a catchy phrases. And this is really wonderful. And actually, we don't see everybody because it is online in the cloud. And this is a wondrous existence as the Bodhisattva. And speaking good words is the only one Dharma door. And we feel happy, and we feel touched. And everyone is here. Everyone is also online. And everyone is a diligent doing good deeds, and this is the true existence of a wondrous Dharma, and this is what the Jin's Dharma School is all about, and this is because this is why the wisdom never ceases. Thank you. And my favorite is always to study club on Wednesday, and we have catchy phrase and good words. And this is wonderful. And actually, everyone is online or in the cloud. Thank you. And、uh, we have a good place, and、uh, we have a good song, and、uh, we have good pals, and、uh, we have a good guests. Therefore, I like I love the study group on Wednesday, and、uh, it is kind of wonderful. And this is a true, wondrous.
existence in the clouds. And this is the Dharma, and this is the Bodhisattva. And speaking good words is the only one Dharma door. And if you're here and you feel joyous and you feel trusted, and because you know, we are the guests in the cloud online, see, everyone has a computer, everyone has a computer, 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 and we are working so diligently. And this is a Dharma body, and this is also what the Jin Si Dharma School is all about. And this is why our wisdom can never cease. And I love to study group on Wednesday. And we have a good words and we have a catchy phrase. And this is wonderful. And we don't see one another because you know, we are guests in the cloud. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yang Zipu from HIM International Music Incorporation. And thank you, Lin Bi Yu, because of your lyrics. And we have uh, Lin Yu Min from Kaohsiung. And she says that. And this is wonderful to have like a chore from Malaysia because of the affinity and uh, and she comes to you know the study group Kaohsiung and uh, originally she just couldn't focus on our study group a hundred percent and gradually and she becomes concentrated and focused and uh, she was told that if you are late and you are still here and and that means you really want to come and you really want to participate and this is wonderful and i think this is you know what that like, concentration is all about and this is what also mr zeng Yin says to be mindful and so every wednesday morning and she is very sure that she will be with us online and we have a live watch show from Jordan, and she says that she encounters like a great knowledge through internet, and uh, she's talking about uh, Doctor Cao Wenlong, and uh, still me is a wonderful guy drama and she said that she hasn't watched the Dai drama for a while but uh, she watched the still me and she told her mom to just catch up with every episode and she feel very touched so she hopes that she can just come back okay to taiwan and she really want to know more about what dementia is all about and uh, we have a Mu Hui from china and uh, also she talks about still me the Dai drama and how uh, Long, Dr. Dr. Cao says that what is really precious is a true love and the elderly people really have the true love because they are so naive right and uh, Shandong like uh, Wen Hui says that this is wonderful and the uh, Chou Wei is really brave talking about uh, you know her wrongdoings and she repented to us right in public and this is really shocking and touching and she is brave and uh, she also let us know that okay everyone is making progress and everyone has room to improve and today we have a wonderful writer and uh, we have our beautiful lady Tai Ching Er and last year in December and uh, she planned to come over last year but uh, today finally she is here but online and uh, who is a graphic designer for her posters and uh, we have Lina from from the UK, and uh, let's take a look about Tai uh, Xing Er. And uh, she published a book of me that is like a reading, making hope blossom. And uh, in Liu Chiu, okay, junior high school, and uh, we have uh, like a Jing Si reading room in this beautiful school. And this is an inauguratory ceremony in that school. And uh, this reading room is kind of beautiful. And uh, finally, and uh, we have the room ready because of a pandemic. So we had to delay the project, right? And uh, we make uh, the room, make the space into the Jing Si, like 
like a reading room, and it is great for students to calm themselves down. And so, all the island in Taiwan, not only in Taiwan but also Jinan Masu Lan Yu Lu Dao, that we have a、uh, study room. I mean, we have a reading rooms of Jinan in their schools, which can really inspire them. So, this is the reading room. That we have in schools, right? And this is beautiful. And here, like we have、uh, like a welcome ceremony to welcome the 191st like a Jinx like a reading room in this school. So now we have 191 like a Jinx reading rooms, okay, all around the Taiwan so far. And no matter where we are, then really we have a、uh, like a Jinx reading room, okay, not only in Taiwan but also in the Ice. Let's okay, like Penghu and Jimen, and this is really touching. And let's share you this story about the well. And, and、uh, in this film, then you will see that、like, we have、uh, like a Cixi collegiate volunteer, which means Cixi, and、uh, his like a grandpa is a teacher in this school, and therefore he decided to have a Jinx like like a reading room in his like a school. Okay, and、uh, he wants. Want to build a, a a place to commemorate his grandfather, and it brings him really positive energies, right? And through such touching stories, then we will see this is one wonderful touching stories between people. So today we are talking about the Jinx reading room, and you don't have to be really rich, and if you have, you know, have the good thought. And if you are willing to do it, then you can do it, right? Okay. Well, and.、Uh This is a volunteer, a collegiate volunteer, Cixi, and、uh, he like collects money and he works very hard and he uses the money, okay, in a really meaningful way. And the, the way he does, okay, the good thing is to build and construct like a Jinx reading room to commemorate his grandfather. And this is a touching, right? Okay. And now. Come on, okay. Humanitarian volunteers, come over here to talk about、uh, Tai Chinger, please, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone. Good day, and Chinger. Good morning to you. And we are in Gaoxiong. I used to. Describe Qing Er as water, and as I became the humanitarian volunteer, and I learned that the Qing Er is not only as gen as soft as tender as water, and that she is a volunteer that really promotes greatly. Um, doing good deeds, right? And we are so grateful that we have a Qing'er with like a high EQ and the beautiful COO to handle the Jinx Bookstore, and、uh, she does her best to promote like a good books and a good words and brings all the good things into schools, and that is you know why we have the chance, right, to shoulder some responsibilities. And promote the good books and the good deeds, right? Okay. And although you know individually we do just a little bit, but we can gather like、uh, good thoughts and the power just like a fireflies. And we cherish every opportunity to make our wisdom grow, and we are too so grateful. And I want to say grateful, especially to Qing Er. So, ladies and gentlemen, Tai Qing Er, and her topic is reading that makes the books. I mean, really makes a hope blossom, ladies and gentlemen. I like to be with you because you have a positive energy. Tai Ching Er, please. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. 
and Mayun. And uh, we we thank you. We say thank you to Mei Hui, okay, because of your good words to introduce me. I'm happy today. Thank you, Mei Hui. <laughs> and teacher Mei Yun is kind of a wonderful teacher, right? Okay. And she makes everything so clear. So, yeah, okay, I can do my sharing, okay? Okay, and Mei Hui also does a wonderful black brief introduction about me, and Mei Hui really does everything silently, and I know she's blessed, and she does like everything peacefully, and I'm so honored that I have such team members in Kaohsiung. So we can just promote Mr. Zheng Yun's idea so peacefully, and I feel carefree. Because of you, good day. So can you see my like a uh, report here? Yeah. Clear. Okay, and my topic today is a footprint of Jing's reading room, and the reading makes hope blossom. Okay, and because of pandemic, therefore, I choose to share my like uh, thoughts with you online instead of going to Kaohsiung. And as you know that uh, I have a book, okay, and written by me, which includes more than 150 pages. Of course, like I can't finish the whole book today, but I will share you some touching ideas and stories, right? And because of a pandemic, I, I think, you know, taking care of yourself and myself is kind of important. So we have a Jing Si Erbou, like a tea, from like a Jin's bookstore. And I think this is really popular because you know, it is out of stock now. And uh, I know it, you know, people need them badly. Okay. And they work so hard to promote such ideas. And uh, they also need uh, Jin's herbal tea. And uh, I, I know this is a good tool and this is a good thing to protect yourselves, right? And I want you to be carefree and calm down, okay? And I, I think a product is good, but you also calm your mind down, which is even more important, right? Okay? And Jing Si herbal tea is good, and it is a health. It is a healthy for us, right? And as you know that, uh, well, here are the like plants, and plants are really wonderful things, right? And because you know maybe it, it is kind of too late right and uh, to have to to produce like a jeans herbal tea so we have uh, also okay a, a, a larger volume i mean this is a bottle the jeans herbal tea as well and uh, you can just have one bottle each day and also we have the Jin's herbal tea also for children, okay? And this is like a powder drinks for your babies and your children at home. And uh, not only adults, but also I think like children also need like a Jin's herbal tea, but maybe children don't like the smell because it's a little bit pungent for them. So we turn this into like a powder form. So it, it smells like a tender. And I personally feel it, it uh, tastes a little bit like a sweet, right? And uh, if you feel, well, it is necessary that you can eat some honey and make it like a sweeter for children. And this is kind of a, a safe way to protect your health against the pandemic of mining. And because like we have a Jin's herbal tea, okay? And let me guarantee that, okay, you don't have to worry about uh, the shortage of the Jin's herbal tea products and you will just get it like uh, soon, okay? 
and we have a May Hui and the Bo Xi in Kaohsiung and the promoting like a Jing Si reading room for us all over Taiwan. And I'm so grateful for them. And uh, we have a uh, good books and uh, we have a uh, good ideas and good words which can just get into schools, right? And uh, we really produce a film, and I want to share the film with you now. Okay. And, okay, I can play the video for you because you know, I can hear your voice. Okay, and then I'll play it from Kaohsiung for you. Okay. Some books can never be out of the shelves. And because they are your good friends for children, okay, for adults and for elder people. And I think the good words really help, Troy, okay? And for example, somebody wants to rob in the bank, and he is a kind of a highly great educated, but suddenly the robber dread the things freedom, which says that when doing good deeds, and uh, everybody must do it, okay? And the doing good deeds, okay, is, is never allowed. And do, reading this, so he stopped his bad idea, and he shared this with Mr. Zheng Yan. This is really wonderful. And uh, we have uh, like a Jing Si, like a reading rooms to like a remote areas, for example, Gao Tai Junior High School. And at that time, and uh, we not only sent a book and uh, he said that the principal said that he really want to set up a, a, like a reading room in his school because you know he really want to see a very warm heart like a warm moment there and he really want every student to read the good words maybe from Mr. Zheng Yin, maybe from some other people like the doctors and he wants to bring like a positive energy to everyone and I always feel that we have to spread the good seeds everywhere and whenever we say that like one reading room and uh, maybe some other schools will feel this is meaningful and they hope like we can just do it in their school too and like, a, like a Chen Ziyuan who says that uh, we are still on the way doing this and uh, we need uh, a, a lot of like, uh, like an expense, right? And uh, Chen Ziyuan says, no problem, okay, you just go ahead and, and I can just donate the money to them. And I feel so touched, right? And I still remember that uh, after 921 earthquake and uh, we have uh, like a project at Hope, right? And uh, Mr. Zheng Yuan just check all the schools, okay, we she, she said she saw that she could help, right? And a lot of people said, like, Mr. Zheng Yun, why are you so brave since we didn't have money at the time? But Mr. Zheng Yun said, although we don't have money, we have a love. As we have love, that everything can be just accomplished. And this is what we can do for our society, for our children. I think everybody has the power, has the willing, has the good heart to do so. Well, and the same setting up a Jin's reading room is really important and I think we also need a lot of room and we need volunteers and we have a lot, we, we need a lot of designing works, right? And Mr. Zheng Yan says if we have the power and uh, we have the willing, of course, right? And we have to settle everything down, okay, from okay, choosing a room and the make like uh, all the books on shelves, right? And the Mr. Zheng Yan says, like, uh, just do it if uh, we are doing the right thing. And uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, good people around us, right? And so we are lucky. I want every children to also feel such luck, okay? Through reading and uh, open up, okay? And broaden their minds and eyesight, right? We are very happy within the three years and we have like a Jin's reading room one by one and by 2020, and we have already like more than 150 of them. And uh, we have uh, such 
you know, reading room in the Green Island, okay, in Chimay, in Mazu. I think that this is a milestone, okay, and this is important that we promote such idea like a gradually. And I know that we have more schools that need the things reading room, okay, so we have to do it continuously. And not only one or two people can just do this. I think everybody with a power has, okay, the sense of mission to do so. Publishing this book, I want to promote. Promote uh, the compassion and uh, the good deeds, and I think I have been to many good places, and uh, I see not only beautiful sceneries but also like beautiful sceneries in people's mind. And I have always wanted to write them down and uh, publish them into my book, right? And now my dream comes true because you know this book contains so much love, and I want everybody to read the good books, right? And I hope you can just promote by this book as well for me. Reading makes hope for us. Thank you. I can share this video with everyone as well. And I really wanted to promote the love okay, through my book. And later, okay, I, I think I will have one more new video that I can share with you. And I really want to get into more schools and promote such like reading ideas, right? And recently, I have been to many senior high schools. For example, I have been to Mazu in 2018. And I also received a lot of positive feedbacks on newspapers, right? And uh, my co-workers, right, just go to Mars by ferry, by ship, okay, on their holidays, right? And the uh, older students in the pictures actually have already graduated, and maybe they are undergraduate students, right? And uh, I, I hope that they can bring all the positive ideas into their future. And uh, I and the, the principal of the Mazu Junior High Senior High School says that I have to go to him and share good ideas with them, and that it is a deal. Okay. And I feel they are really, really like a young people. And uh, it is a great chance for them to get to know Master Zheng Ye. And I also received positive feedbacks very, very much on that day in Mazu. And I also went to Tainan, okay, visiting their first, like, the first senior high school and the girls' senior high school, and also the Sinjus, like a girls' senior high school. And I spread the good seeds, and uh, I really want to grow the positive and uh, positive thoughts and seeds into students' mind and hearts. Right? And this is what I did in Tainan, and uh, the boys. Boys like a uh, high school, okay, include includes uh, so many like a uh, handsome young boys, young students here, and actually they are so young. And uh, of course, maybe all of, I mean, most of them don't know who Master Zheng Yan is. But uh, what I want is to spread the good seeds and uh, the positive like thoughts into their mind. And therefore, I prayed some videos for them, for, and uh, they will just get to know what Siji is about, right? And uh, they listen to my lecture really carefully. And uh, after my lecture, okay, my presentation, they told me that they were start you know doing good deeds and the spreading the like, good thoughts after my presentation I, I was so happy after they told me this so and and this is you know the picture taken in in Tainan and the teachers in the senior high school in Tainan also felt very touched you know as they listen to the touching stories right and you can see from this picture the girl just cried into tears and she felt so touched and she told me that many like stories really touched her heart right especially when I told 
talk about uh, the Philippines, okay, the relief like a job in the Philippines, and uh, it, it uh, touches her heart, right? And uh, I, I think uh, this is what like uh, passing on the Dharma is all about, right? Okay, and uh, as we pass on the good deeds and pass on the Dharma, and I think uh, like a uh, good seeds will be grown in their minds, right? And I see really hope. I see hope in their mind, and uh, no matter how rough their future road is, right? And uh, please remember that. Uh, you have to always do things and do everything you can for people, you know or you don't know. And uh, this is, you know, what I want to convey to them, okay, through the good books, right? Okay. And myself, take myself for example, I also got to know Siji when I was, you know, in my junior high school period of time, okay? I think a good book and a good words and it will bring positive influence for your entire life, right? Well, and when we are doing, okay, the project about the like Jin's reading room and uh, from the decoration, from the designing, interior designing, I think that for every detail and it is a very good chance for us to grow good seeds in everyone's mind. Now we can be the sunshine in everyone's life. And previously, I had uh, invited a lot of principal in Zhanghua, okay, and participating in the Project Hope. And uh, we also had uh, a very successful presentation, I mean, lecture with them. And uh, what I'm talking about is uh, like Pinghe Elementary School in Nantou. And uh, this school was the fifth school that we have, uh, like a Jin's reading room in there. And uh, as we got into the school, and uh, the principal and the students is really, they they saluted to me, and uh, this is the way they show their gratitude towards us, right? And why? Be because in a uh, Pinghe Elementary School was one of uh, the like like a uh, project of hope after nine two one earthquake. Right? Okay, so see, is it not uh, okay passing on the good seeds, right? Okay, and now in this picture, then you will see this is a new principal of a Pinghe, like a elementary school. And she said to me that, uh, okay, you know, Siji is really her benefactor. And this is really surprising to me, okay. And uh, her story was that, okay, her just newborn baby. Okay, was you know just like a six months old after a nine two one earthquake happened, and uh, all because of a Tsuji, and uh, her child can be just safe and happy. And I really carry my gratitude towards Tsuji because you know, I'm blessed, and I'm so happy because you know the the like the Jin's reading room can be. In the like, Zhongliao Junior High School, that uh, spread uh, like a good seed and the hope, right? And we have this reading room in school, and it was a very important thing for our school. So I want to express my gratitude to everyone in your school. And uh, we had uh, so many schools right, uh, that uh, have uh, like a Jin's reading room, and books are good friends, a mentor for children. And uh, we are so lucky that we have the Jin's reading room in our school, which promote our like reading atmosphere. And I have the, a pair of like babies after nine to one earthquake just happened, and they were only six months old. And uh, after the nine to one earthquake, my like a young like like a twin babies had their first like like a mouthful of the food, and the food was from Tsuji. Okay, and uh, the principal really cried into tears, and she carried her sincere like a gratitude toward me. And she said to me that because of everybody's love, and her children were safe, and she was safe. And I was there because of the project of hope after 921 earthquake there. Okay. 
Because of the uh, uh, the Jingzi uh, books room, so the kids, the children now in the school can know uh, uh, the, the the history of nine two first nine two one earthquake. So in Jai, there's a story in Jai. Uh, the father uh, graduated from the school over seventy years. So study so hard. The father said he studied so hard, and he's the one and who can enter the Jai uh, High School and then enter to Taiwan University, National Taiwan University. So the father tell the uh, students that you need to work very hard, study very hard, then you can change your future. So. Uh, 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 so, Doctor Her, she he brought his father to the school, and then get the honor students from the school. And actually, the day is the first day uh, of um, father, uh, Doctor Her's fa her father. So, but we didn't bring the uh, cake, but uh, we only get. Uh, a cake, and then uh, I called the our staff, and then bring some gifts from Master Zhen Yan, and then to give the gift to to uh, Doctor Ho's father, and they were so touched. And so I was very grateful for the volunteers, uh, like just like uh, Mei Hui. She, Sister Mei Hui and Bo Xi, brother Bo Xi. So they uh, spread their love, the loving seed uh, in the community, in all the cities. This is the picture of uh, in, in Jai. And one of uh, and the, the one who sit in the middle is the chairman of the Department of uh, Education in Jai. So I wish. Uh, the uh, the 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 uh, construction can be responsible for the city hall, uh, and actually in the uh, in the past I've seen uh, Master Zhen Yan, so they have. I've seen Master Zhen Yan in far, far from away, but uh, the seed have already uh, planted in my mind, and I know that Master Zhen Yan and his uh, and the volunteers uh, did a lot of uh, good things in the world, and so I know. That, uh, so then, so now he would like to uh, invite the Jingzi Bookstore to uh, set up the Jingzi Reading Room in uh, all the uh, schools in Jai City. Oh, uh, needs a lot of people's work. So we start to, we need to uh, go back to the school day yearly, uh, annual, uh, continue, go back to the school, and then uh, uh, get the new books, uh, put on the new books on the shelves. So a lot of volunteers need to bring uh, the books, the new books there. And actually, those are the print of Buddhist Tava. Uh, so the volunteers and the staff will took the pictures and then shared in our line group. So I cannot go with them each time, but I was so touched by the books. And you can see uh, uh, sisters Mingzhu or brother Bo Xi uh, in their uh, image on the picture. They just work so hard. Even though uh, the principal will change or will uh, every four years, but actually the good things will last long forever. And so I told master, the stories of Master Zhen Yan, and the Master Zhen Yan told, encouraged me to uh, 
let uh, the principal uh, try to make the principal become Ziji volunteers. So that's the, uh, my work for the next step. Uh, now, uh, in the picture, this is a, uh, 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 eating supplies um, for the balls um, by in the bookstore, and then we saw in the bookstore, and this is a girl showing uh, from the title. There is a, a one of the boy in the picture. He read the instruction and he read the manual so carefully. And so, uh, so one of our staff uh, told me that, hey, Jingyu, come to see uh, this kid and then look at him. He read the instruction, he read the manual so hard and he, he won't know how to introduce uh, the the supplies. So I asked him that. I asked him maybe you can take a video and how to introduce the the supplies. And so the next day, the boy uh, went to see the principals and then tell the principal that I need to cut my hair because I'm going to show on the uh, video and then introduce um, the supplies. So as you can see on the picture, the boy got a haircut and it looks so handsome. And the principal said that actually the boy didn't have, did, the boy didn't, uh, the boy was grown up by himself and he is always needs a lot of people to help him. And because of this, and this opportunity, uh, he now he can show himself and then be uh, have the uh, confidence, uh, promote his confidence for himself. So now, uh, uh, I'm starting to become a volunteer uh, as a, uh, and then to uh, interview the uh, professionals in the world in the community. And I've, I was being responsible for a show, and so I've uh, uh, interviewed, uh, I've interviewed a, a teacher, Huang Chunming, uh, he wrote that poem, and I was very touched. Uh, the kids look up high, and still look high. And he's, the boy look high and then see the skies, and then the mom told him that Actually, there was a dead people on the ground. If there was a big people dead, uh, person uh, dead on the ground, then there will be a star on the sky. So the father told him he's so full. Uh, and how come you can... So I remember... Uh, so I remember uh, there is a story. Uh, so the kids screamed out, Mom, you, where's you? Where are you? Where, where, which star is you? So uh, because of the poem, and I remember that there is a story, uh, there's a boy I met uh, in the Philippines. And there was a kid, uh, he, his stories because of the typhoon Haiyan, and he lost his family in the typhoon. Last year, it says that last year in the typhoon, um, their family was uh, swept away, their family members. And actually, the rain, in the beginning, they uh, went up to the roof, but the wave hit the house, and then the house collapsed immediately. And so the boy uh, met uh, Tai Jing er and told him, uh, my mom was swept away by the water. Uh, where are they? My brothers and sisters were swept, swept away by the water. Where are they? And, uh, I was, and Jing er cried after he heard the story. 
And the boy said that I miss Qing'e so much. Where are you? And actually, the boy still feel hurt and still afraid of the sea because uh, because of the disaster. And the volunteers told the boy, uh, "Don't worry." And they they found the boy face uh, according to just a, a little clues and then just the pictures and then they found boys. And then they brought the Jing Si algorithm to the children there. They hope that uh, the children who were struggling with the disaster they will found their hope uh, from the book after they got the book. And I hope that uh, uh, I hope that uh, just like the Jing uh, Si aphorism said that uh, there's the beautiful, the most beautiful on the sky is stars, but the most beautiful thing in the world is the world. And also, uh, I hope that uh, love will be like just like a uh, light in the in a dark sky, and then, then bring and then uh, show the direction for the one who feel fears, and then uh, can uh, sh help them to soothen their mind and body. And we can say that Sister Jing Yan, she's the like like a representer uh, of the the word. So we can you so you can see uh, who wrote the promotion for the book. So there's the uh, vice president of Taiwan, and and then Tai vice. City superintendent in Taipei and uh, the teacher uh, Hei Youlong, Zhang Manquan, all are famous uh, uh, writers, authors in Taiwan. And also, there are a lot of uh, uh, professionals in all different fields in the world, uh, in the community. And also, our masters wrote a uh, Words for the to promote the book for her. So how so it so she is really got a strong power uh, that uh, she can. She has a good uh, karma. She she make good friends with a lot of people. So there was a feedback from uh, from online from the Facebook. So because of her good act sharing, and it was very touched. And she, the story she shared has come from everyone's life. You can, you, the stories are so vivid because uh, from her sharing, uh, and there is our only uh, small proportion of the book. And according to Qing Er, actually the stories in the book is just a small part of the stories. So let's give her a big applause. And thank her. <laughs> thank you, Qing Er. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so let's welcome Yun Hi, everyone. The topic I'm to share today is when she's present. Great having you in my three decade teaching. In 1992, I'm Teacher, Ciji Teacher Association was established, and I also became Ciji Certified Commissioner. And I joined Ciji Teachers Association Thousand Branch. And I'm truly 
grateful for the past uh, 30 years because of time limitation. So I will just share a few things. My first gratitude goes to Master Zheng Yan because so we can all the uh, commissioners and the Ci Chen have the opportunity of regular checkups. So we are healthy to do Ci Ji jobs. And uh, three years after my certification, I went to Huarian Ci Ji Hospital for regular health checks. When family physician looked at my report, she told me, sister, are you a vegetarian? And I smiled because I didn't. And uh, he had the report. To me and said, congratulations, here comes the penalty. So I look at the report, my cholesterol had soared to over 300. So I told myself, you must be a vegetarian to be alive. And especially, uh, Dharma Master Zheng Yan also promotes being vegetarian quite often. So today, I'm healthy, I'm healthy and uh, I can work and do Ci jobs healthy. All because Master Zheng Yan's compassion. And my second uh, great view goes to the teaching of Jing Si aphorisms. It says we have to change ourselves before we could influence others. And uh, to, uh, angry is a sign of incompetence. Uh, to be angry is to punish yourself by taking other people's faults. Uh, if you are hot-tempered and fall mouth, then no matter how good your are, heart is, you are not a good person. They are like a awakening bros. So I started to Change to positive thinking, and the uh, uh, teachers team also did the teaching and the uh, uh, course plan for Jing Si Apparitions. Uh, we have Wednesday program. Not only the teaching, but also the humanistic group games. So even we are not that capable, but as followers, we work together hard to uh, implement the temperate in class. And uh, in 1996, I was assigned to administration, human resource, and the science teacher for fifth and the sixth grandparents. Because that position actually is not that popular. Uh, however, I think it's, there are four places for the uh, fifth and sixth graders and like totally 120 students. So I think it's good opportunity to them like those 120 students to get the certification of Jing Si Apparitions. So I took it. And uh, since then, we, uh, in 1994, the uh, Pindong branch of Teachers Association was established, and uh, there are many teachers 
那个学校呢，就讲说 ，They are also、啊、commissioners at that time. 高雄呢，听到云林老师他们的教学方法，啊，电子教学是不是可以请他们过来？ And, uh, 当然，他们。李美元老师的那个电视教学团队呢，一步一步，啊，付出所求。有时候呢，也是我担当，来开车来载他们。啊，因为时间的关系，我不敢讲的很多。啊，过来，在近视语里面呢，我就开始。I also took the responsibility of driving. 呃呃，科学里面的，哎，人体的特征啊，和遗传，你想说，哎，用这个方法，每一个单元呢，我就做这个学习单。那学生的反应呢，就是说，啊，说，哎，身体发肤，受制父母，不可毁伤啊。所以，他的近视语呢，就是当，哎。那个父母需要我们的时候，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要欢喜的付出。对，我们要也让学生呢很高兴的来那个。那后来呢，也有哎，近视语的联络部啦，哦，还有呢，就是近视语的那哎，亲子哎，那个交流道啦，这些他不但是他写的他的心得，啊，他也把他的心得呢画成画出来，我们大家看，画。所以呢，每一次我经过电视里，呃，那个上课的班主任呢，很多呃参加比赛的时候，他们都会得到很好的成绩。So， 哎，绘画，还有讲故事，啊，还有呢，做文笔赛，都哎有很好的成绩。很好的成绩。表现，然后说，还有呢，还有呢，哎、呃，听了老师讲说，一年一度嘛，啊，他日存五毛钱，小钱行大善，学生们就告诉老师说，老师，我们想，想要用，想要来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，当然了，刚刚好，我们那个分会呢，人家送了好多的布满，我就拿来分给大家。还有呢，哎，发动水灾的时候，他们就讲，老师，我们来用近思语卡。And、uh, I share the piggy banks with them. I said, "Okay, teacher, pay the money. Teacher, buy it. You guys design it. The end. They also proposed to make a Jingzi Aborigines card for charity sale. So I bought materials and they designed and made it. The end. The end. All right. So the parents and kids all came. Oh, Time's up. So, uh, okay. Uh, 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 u
Because this award belongs to the teachers association. I'm truly grateful. So time's up. And, uh, I think Zhi should take all the credit because and as well as the uh, teachers association. Thank you, thank you all. And Chin of Jin, for reason, is quite creative, and there are many types to perform it. And uh, so we have the feedback that appreciate teachers' efforts, and uh, so all the words Jin Si Aprisons can pass on. And uh, for the uh, teachers, uh, 30 anniversary, yeah, we put on that uniform. And uh, here I want to uh, promote something like this one is the SO source. SO source, this is new arrival, and uh, it's tasty. Especially like it's the season of making dumplings, rice dumplings, so it's quite tasty to add this sauce. And uh, for Jing Si Her, we also have a uh, new version of Jing Si candy. And uh, here are also some very good products. So welcome to check out and uh, take them home. And uh, here's the turmeric with black paper that will enhance its effects. And uh, also there's a discount. And next week we all have the uh, sharing from brothers and sisters from Australia and uh, Thailand. And next week, we will also have the uh, professor Bo Fan Zhen share online. And uh, yeah, the message. Remember to like and share. So we have to, we must have the influence. So we let's see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.